Our goal is to develop tools for the visualization and quantification of massive data sets resulting from numerical simulations, lab experiments and real-world observations. Our main focus is in the area of computational fluid dynamics. Our approach to this area involves what we call physiometrics. Physiometrics parallels the scientific discovery paradigm in which an experiment or simulation is performed. The results of this experiment are analyzed and an effect is focused upon. This effect could have previously been unobserved. The persistence of this effect under variations and pertur perturbations is the signal of something new. In the next step, the scientist attempts to understand this effect, possibly by formulating a new mathematical formula. An example of the physiometrics approach is exemplified by the discovery of the soliton by Zabuski and Kruskal and the subsequent solution of the previously intractable KDV equation. In the early 60s, a simulation of the KDV equation was made. The results were visualized, showing the appearance of new, coherent, persistent structures. The top half of the screen shows the time-varying solution of the one-dimensional KDV equation. On the bottom is a space-time diagram. Each horizontal line in the space-time diagram is color-coded by the y-value from the graph and therefore corresponds to the solution at one time interval. Notice how the peaks and troughs remain coherent over time. They are easily recognizable from the banded structure of the space-time diagram. The interaction of such structures produces a phase shift which is very noticeable when the bands cross. These structures were called solitons, for they were related to the solitary wave solution of this equation, known since 1895. The existence of a small set of exact mathematical invariants provided a handle on this equation, and a transformation was found by Mura and Kruskal to solve the KDV equation exactly.